All right, so do we want to see who on, who goes first? We can. I think this time let's roll two dice because that gives more like a uh, chance for it. There we go. You just want to. <laughs> you want to roll two zeros? Is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Nope. Come back. I didn't roll you. Yet. I got three. I was gonna say drop. Them. Yeah, there you go. One. Cool. Hey, uh, you and I roll off then. Yep. You two roll off. See who gets second and third. Two. Two. I go again. Yep. Two. Two. God damn it. Oh my god, I hate you guys. I'm just gonna solve this. One of you call high or low. Oh, never mind. I got Someone other than two. Okay, thank God. Zero. Thank you, God. Someone <laughs> got something. If we if we kept that go, going long, we could have made a short out of it. God, for real. All right, turn. God. What about the trolling short doing? The trolling short is doing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, God. <laughs> it got okay, but it got de it got demonetized, obviously. Because all this were yeah, yeah, no, whatever. But God, it was great. All right, so that's <laughs> orange, and then blue, and then red. There we go. Okay. So try not to set the hunt early this time. Look, that's not my fault that someone, you know, got multiple things in a row. This is going out to both parties. <laughs> no promises. You're just upset you didn't get a fucking uh, haunt card. <laughs> Or omen card. <laughs> I just kept getting events and items. And oh boy, the conservatory. All right. Where's the... did you sh did you shuffle that deck, Grud? Yeah, I smashed it like fifty times. <laughs> I swear the shuffle's the next thing. Funeral. You open a coffin, you're inside it. Oh no. Okay. Uh attempt a sanity roll. How good's my sanity? It's great. Not good. <laughs> it is a three. Alright. Uh what do I need for the card to pass it? Yeah, four plus. Oh fuck me. Uh Hope for the best. Cool. Three. I think I just lose a sanity. Yeah, I lose a sanity. All right. Well, things There's aren't going so, many so hot. All right. Well, uh, not, not starting out all right. All right. Your turn, Baba. Okay, looking at this, three is my speed according to this because there are two circles there. And it's confusing the heck out of me. I think it's because you loaded the stats for the other one too and then flipped over. I don't know how to fix that. I don't either, so just play it as is. And we'll get one for over here. The organ room. See, look at that. No omen cards. Eat a dick. <laughs> when have I ever gotten an omen card? Good point. Spider. Spider the size of a fist lands on your shoulder and crawls into your hair. Must attempt a speed roll to brush it away or a sanity roll to stand still. <laughs> I don't like spiders. So, speed or sanity, which one's your better? I'm gonna guess probably. Little... I'm gonna guess probably sanity. You've got a four in that. Yeah. Three. Ooh. It bites you. Take one die of physical damage. Well, I got this. I'll be unbiased. One. So here's Where how this. Just so here's how this works out. Uh, there are two stats for each thing: physical and mental. Physical stats are might and speed. 
sanity, and knowledge are mental stats. You can divide them between either stat as much as you want. And that was physical? Yes. Yep. So you can choose to either uh, lower your... I'll take a bump uh, to might then. Also, it's worth noting, in the first half of the game, the pre-haunt phase, you cannot die. So if your stats ever get low enough that you would go into the skull, they it do is, not low... Stay low. Yeah, they do not lower any further. Okay, is that into this card then? Yep. All right. You know what? I'm going to take a risk this time. I'm going to go up. Are you going to go to the uh, to the uh, basement? Nope. Going up to the upper oh, landing. Oh, upper landing. Right. That's a grand staircase. I forgot. Was that a grand wizard, you say? Now begins the discard festival. <laughs> For real. Let's see. Nope. Got it in one go. And looks like I got a... What is that? Watch it be a dead end. Operating laboratory. Nope. It's got two doors. Q. Is there anything in here? Is it just Event. a room? Okay. I was going to say... I hate this one because it, it always... Yeah, it's in. the same color. Or like damn close. Oh, yeah. You oh, really... You took, oh. took the stack. There we go. I got your card. Who said you can touch my card? Man, that's racist. I ain't got darn My mother's calling me now. <laughs> All right. One second. <laughs> she must have heard me being racist. All right. One second, guys. Something hidden. Ooh. No, nope, I feel like I've seen this before. I know, right? Except it's not a graveyard this time. <laughs> I know, right? By the way, if you ever need to, all of the rules are down here at the bottom. All their pages spread out to read individually. But it... But I missed... Say any what? riveting conversation while you I was gone. No, any riveting conversation I missed. <laughs> not really. Mostly because like he went off to go check dinner or something, so I was here by myself for a long while. <laughs> also, one of those stat circles, they are. It, it is floating above the board, <laughs> like where that where that grand staircase is is where that. There's one floating above right now. I do not know why. What's floating above? All right. I got to roll a knowledge roll. My guy's not that knowledgeable, but hopefully I get a four. Because I don't need to lose any sanity. Yeah, one of my glitch settings are above the grand staircase. Uh, Weird. It's bothering me. It's bothering um, me a lot. Boom. Okay. I oh. get an item. Oh yeah, pull your item. At least, at least this but way. Pull, pull. At pull least quick. this way, it makes sense. Yeah, I know, it right? makes sense this way. <laughs> Mine never made sense. Lucky stone. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rub it out. It's it's your it's your Jo crystal. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, robot chicken. All right, and that in my turn. Yep. I'm going to explore uh, upstairs for a while. Yeah. <laughs> God. Downstairs were bad. Downstairs was bad to us. I don't have a lot of speed, so I can't go much of anywhere. Actually, no. No, I do. Hold on. I'm going to backpedal that a bit. So that's one. I'm going to come up there with you. Two. Three. And I'm going to head to the right instead. Yeah, because downstairs was terrible to us last time. <laughs> I found the master bedroom. And you got an omen. It I, begins. I hope it's the crazed hobo. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's not actually a hobo. It's like Madman or something, but... Same difference. No, instead I get oh, bitten God. again. All right. All right, so Vava, Vava roll. You you roll. So Vava, do you want to roll it this time? Uh, sure. How much do I got? What do I got to roll? Only four dice. Actually, what is my might? Oh fuck, my might's three. Uh. 
three. All right, that's at least achievable. Damn. No. I take two damage. Great. <sighs> You're welcome. <laughs> now for the hot roll. Three. All right. Oh, no, wait. I don't. I take two, not three. There we go. We're good. All right. Oh, whoops. There we go. All right, Baba. Your move. Your move. It's time to do it. There's no backing Get down. Get for down there. The heart of the cards is where magic is found. We've played we this game the before, but never quite this way. It's like it all that war with monsters that are real. Okay. <laughs> so, so get in there and roll. Yep, roll two dice. Yep. Move to any floor. My lava gets to the basement. Man, this, is so, this is already more interesting. Four. Four. Any floor. All right, pick one. I'm joining you guys. <laughs> All right, just drag the tile up to an open space. All right. Hey, how's it going? And injure certain. Kiddo. One second. Yep. He's getting those dirty DMs from his fucking, uh, from his mistress. Well, I mean, something like that. <laughs> his special lady friend. I was is, getting to that. His special lady friend is interested in her Chaco daddy. You know what, you guys can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you already took me there. I'm going to take you there again. Ooh, storeroom. Cool, I got an item. And I can flip it. Yep. Did create a dead end, though. <laughs> this is a good thing we have an elevator. <laughs> Man, don't worry, I'm sure you can fix it. I'm sure. Let's see what I get. Oh, I got the candle. Neat. So far, no real stakes going on here. We're all just having a good time. There's no one's a crazed psychopath yet. Just someone just got bit. Yeah, well, you know, it happens. You gotta stop letting Wolf follow you the other games. <laughs> For real. Hey, look, another omen. Something tells me he's gonna be the next one. Come on, psychopath. I found a girl. <laughs> girl, companion, a girl trapped alone. You free her! Insanity and knowledge. Sanity. Knowledge. Go. And of course, make the hot roll. <sighs> You're good. There we go. Now You're good. <laughs> yeah. I was actually trying to move them. I didn't mean to throw them. All right. Next up. All right. I guess I'll fill in the, the little gap up here then. Nope. Good thing that's an upper one right away. The bedroom. Why does the bedroom have two doors? Hey, man. Things happen. Look, sometimes you slip in there when you're not supposed to, and you need to get, get out of there. I thought that's what the closet's for. Was it Akon or R. Kelly who wrote Trapped in the Closet? Oh. <laughs> R. Kelly. Ah. 
Hanged man, a breeze chills the room. Before you, three men hang from frayed ropes. They stare at you with cold, dead eyes. The trio swings silently, then fade into dust that falls to the ground. You start to choke. You must attempt a roll for each trait. Oh, fun. <laughs> you just need a two plus on each of your rolls. Oh, wait. I'm over here. So, three for might. That's a three for might. You're good. Trait is unaffected. For speed. Four. Trait is unaffected. Type okay, speed. Okay, so that's... I need four dice for the last two, then. Type trying to run! All right. Sanity next. Four. You're good. Unaffected. Knowledge. Five. You're good. Unaffected. But... If you rolled a two plus on all four rolls, gain one additional point in a trait of your choice. All right, I'm, I'm bumping my smite back up then. All right. And in turn. All right, it's on me. All right. All right, so we're still upper, so let's see what I'm going to find. Yep. Nope. Oh, no. I was going to say, you might actually... Oh, did you combine oh, well. them together? Hold on. Yep. Let's just mix that. There we go. By the way, you still have to actually walk to a room, because that one doesn't have a door in it. Mm-hmm. That'd be one. I know your speed is probably good for it, but still. Yep. Ah, darn it. Stop <laughs> taking everything. We're going to open... God darn it, Baba. He wanted in the bedroom with you, Madam, whatever the fuck your name is. <laughs> Madam Zostra. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. Yep, a room. Let's be careful you don't make that the trio of bodies into a fourth. <laughs> the game room. Would you like to play a game? God, okay, Jigsaw would have been a great addition to this kind of... Actually, I want you to know, there is one like that where we have shotgun collars attached to yep, us. Yep, 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 I remember that. All right. And now I get an event. Yay. But thanks to the candle, I get to roll an additional dice. Yep, that's true. Let's see what you are. Jonah's turn. Two boys are playing with a wooden top. Would you like a turn, Jonah? One asks. No, says Jonah. I want all the turns. Jonah takes the top and hits the other boy in the face. The boy falls. Jonah keeps hitting him as they fade from view. If an explorer has the puzzle box, that explorer discards that item and draws a replacement item for it. If this happens, you gain one sanity. Otherwise, you take one die of mental damage. Well, take a, die of, <laughs> take, take a die of mental damage. I don't think there's no roll for this, man. I just take the damage. Yep. Uh, well, it says one die, so roll the roll one die, I guess. You mm -hmm. could get zero damage in theory. Yep, yep. You know my luck. Yeah. Damn. Yep. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see. Mental damage. Yep. One and one. No one. And one. Yeah. All righty. Hey, yeah, sanity looking good. And we're all going to be pretty low by the time the haunt starts. <laughs> I'm leaving uh, this on to where I was. Let's see. Time to this dang does real quick. If you have the bell, book, and candle, I think you get two dice. Or two freeze two. trait, yep. Yeah. Well, hopefully, though, if you guys find it, you'll be willing to trade it to me. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep exploring up here, then. What do we do with a drunken sailor? Shave his balls with a rusty razor. Throw him off the balcony. Hell yeah, and we get another omen another card. Another omen. Well, we know who's going to start it. <laughs> we absolutely do. And who's talking about? Come on, madman. Hey! Got the madman. A raving, frothing madman! 
Gain two might and lose a sanity. That queen be a wise man. Uh, Surely means that I don't know. Here we go. We found him. <laughs> All right. Make a hot roll. And we have crazy Steve now. Robin! <laughs> why aren't you eating rats, Robin? We're good. You're good. Uh, All right. Hold on. What was that? I gained two might was sanity. Okay. One, two. And now you have a madman. My sanity is super low now, though. And I guess I will just go... Hopefully the haunt does not involve sanity. Yeah, here's hoping. We're all screwed. My knowledge, though, A+. Plus. Oh, my word. Why? Yeah, well, not a haunt, huh? Oh, omen. Yeah. Das Omen. Oh, Vava got that. Ooh, the vault. That is a good one. Absolutely, if he can if get in. If you could it. open it. Yep. Yeah. So, how this works is that you'll be stopped here, and you have to take the event. But next turn, you can attempt a knowledge roll to open the vault to get two items. You opened the vault, and we came all over your backside. But what? <laughs> Silence. Silence. No one is in the basement. No, it's useless. <laughs> Pretty much. Glad well, I contributed. I know, right? I'm the hey, only man. one contributing to progressing this game at this point. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oop. Let's go to the upper room. Let's see what happens. All right, it's a bloody room, and there's an item in there. Let's see what I get. Hey Come guys, on, I found a gun! <laughs> That'd be awesome. Huga, is that you? I got the idol, guys. An American idol. Hey, <laughs> I don't... have to show it to you <laughs> for some greater purpose. Like human sacrifice. Once per turn, you can rub the idol before making any roll. <laughs> Each time I do... Ooh, you so know you what? you just have an evil lucky stone. <laughs> That's actually worth the risk, though. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and open the vault, man. Next turn. All right, knock yourself out. <laughs> this is my vault. How did they start killing each other? Two items. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, it's one sanity versus adding a plus two to the dice plus the lucky. Jeez, I could get it. There we go. Fought off. <laughs> I found the tower. Oh, oh my word, you got something that wasn't an omen. Oh my god, do you know what this means now? I'm in the tower. Oh, gonna... With a girl. Oh, take the hunt. Girl in the tower! No. I'm reaching no. out! Please tell me what to no. do! That, okay, what does the rest of that text say underneath your token? Um, you, you can, can attempt a might roll of 3 plus to cross. If you fail, you stop moving. It does. Oh, man, you may have to move the uh, whole area over then. Yeah, that won't be a problem. Uh, yep, I can one. unsticky the uh, thing and move it, uh, but I have an event first. Yep. yep. Go. Come the right. Skeletons! Spooky, scary skeletons. Uh, so, if someone can find me a skeleton token. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Done by. <laughs> Damn, I take two mental Jesus. Uh, do you just wanna Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. That doesn't that doesn't change to anything. Uh, you just take a small monster token or you gotta ask to be an actual skeleton? Uh I think it's an actual token that's a skeleton on it. Uh sanity knowledge. Uh, number then that means token. it's in one. It's in that uh, what's event bag then? Yeah, I think it might be in the explorer token. Nope, that's for people. Event bag. Yeah, event bag. Here we go. And 
Blessing, burial, drip, closet, Together. fountain. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right. Basically, once per turn, you can dig around in here using your sanity to try and figure out, uh, find anything in there. But my, skill, but my sanity is shit, so I ain't risking that. So I'm just going to end my turn. Okay. So let me see what my knowledge is before I attempt this. <laughs> Yes. You know what? It's, it's four. I'm, let's do it. You have a chance. All right. You have a chance. No. Not a chance. All right. Continue <laughs> on your ways. No, nope, you can gotta, move. Yep. You got to keep moving. Uh, we don't have actually, to. Actually, he attempted. Op actually, he attempted to open the vault. So I think that's it. Uh, let me check. I don't think so. I think it's he can do that once per turn. Okay. Uh. You can attempt to and empty the roll. Uh, let me check, because I think, I think that just takes a movement to do. Mm. So you're uh, saying I could do that again. Masters and traders, no. can you? <laughs> That'd be busted if you could do it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Causes you to land in this room. You arrive outside the locked door once the visit has been open. Uh, let's see here. She must attempt to open a roll. It doesn't say you stop moving. Okay, well, all right then. Yep. You win this time, Vault. Don't worry, I'll open it for you, buddy. <laughs> Should I explore what? another room? I'll explore another room. The elevator calls for me. Alright, I'm gonna open up another room really quickly. Never know what I'm gonna find. You know, Mama says, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get, and sometimes you get death. Oh, there's nothing. All right, it's just more black. Literally nothing. <laughs> All right, it's my turn. All right. Well, I gotta make a might roll to see if I can make it past this area. That'd be funny if he can't. Uh, my might's four, and I only need three. Yeah, but we've seen some of your rolls. That very fair. At least, at least they're not like my rolls. Like I said. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. All right. In turn. Lava. Actually, yeah, I guess I could have gone backwards, but. Yeah. I think you still got to. Well, no, well it says just to cross it. It doesn't say to exit. Uh, okay. So I guess as long as you're there, you can just. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think so the idea is it's supposed to be you're supposed to be dice. braving like winds that might push you over as you pass through. Hmm. We might actually just adventure this entire fucking open uh, upper floor. It's a two. Where does that take me? Ground floor. Remember, Bob, you can click on the token tile and press um, alt to see it. Yeah, alt will blow it up to let you see it. Full screen, buddy. Full screen. And right back to where we started. <laughs> All right. Can I keep moving then? Because I think I've... Yep. Yeah. Yep, you can keep moving. Because you oh, did yeah, uh, yeah. Unless you're uncovering a tile, that's what ends your turn. Yep. One and my last turn. Welcome back to the beginning. <laughs> All right, let's the do beginning. this. <laughs> At least if one of you go go crazy, I'm nowhere near you. <laughs> How do you know you did that? Sometimes that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> Is that an event? Yeah, event. Okay. Research laboratory. I do not care for how much some of those icons blend in. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's usually good to do the alt, because then you can really tell they're separate character, separate colors, but from a distance, they kind of look the same. Rotten. Rotten. You know, that actually makes sense. Smell in the room. It's it's horrible. Smells like death, like blood. A slaughterhouse smell. Attempt a sanity roll. But luckily, holy be, shit! But luckily, though, because I have the candle, yep, I can roll an extra dice. Yep, and you can even use your lucky stone to attempt to re-roll them if you fail. Yep, and then the idol. But you know, I was gonna save that. <laughs> 
Alright, so how many dice is that? That is... Ooh, just three. I may fail this. I may yeah. fail this hard. You need a five plus. Possible, but I may fail this hard. At least if I get a two, I can take the mic. Two yeah. to four. Zero, though, is pretty bad. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll these dice one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> this goes... Okay. Not like you good. need two on both of these to succeed. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Lose a mite. Hey, look. Better of the worst options there. Fair enough. You, you were almost in trouble there. Yeah. That could have been worse. Yeah. Better of the bad options. All right, that's my turn. Yep. All right. I'm just saying, better of the bad options. Uh, Are you going to try the cross again? What's my speed? I got four. You know what? I'm going to use my speed to come in here. Fuck. I hope you feel this. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to open this with my beautiful foreknowledge. That you may get. Lol, no. <laughs> nope. All right. Uh, and I'll leave out, and that's all I've got. I only got four speed. All right. In turn. And let's get one for over there. Hey, it's my turn to join in. Bob is going to start it. Bob is going to start it. Probably we're at four. It's your omen, Vava. Let's see what you get. <laughs> I hope you get the crystal. Holy symbol. Holy I dying. Gain sanity. Vava. Yep, gain two sanity. Yep. And roll and six it, dice. Six. Okay. You have Vava to roll higher than a four. four. Could do it. It could fail. <laughs> Me. Bump my stats first before I forget. But at that point, yeah, I'm going. I'm going straight for the vault. If, he, if we fail, I hope I'm we get going straight. <laughs> Watch it turns out to be the vampire encounter. Oh God! <laughs> you just need higher than four. You statistically have a good chance of that. Yeah. See, look at that. You're fine. Yep. Yay! Six. How close? Uh, he got two over. He I got six. Okay. Okay. All right, so you know what? I'm not going to risk exploring anything else. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, is that four, five. Oh, no, six, those don't. Three. These two rooms don't connect. Oh, wait, sorry. You have to go see. around that five. way. So, okay, yeah, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five. And oh, no, six no, you have to, you'd have to come down this straight line and go through there. Two, three, four. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can step in there, you just gotta... Well, I was gonna say, like, this has a door here, but there's no door here to connect this. Oh, yeah, no, that's even... Wow. This is even more jank than I thought it was. I know I have, like, six speed, so yeah, I can just it's a giant it. zigzag to get to the to get to get the <laughs> vault from there. All right, you know yeah. what? We need to have words of the architect. Should I risk this room? No uh, balls. Do it. No, no balls. balls. <laughs> All right, then, let's see. <laughs> Library. Library. Nice. Gain a knowledge. Oh, this helps. This helps a lot. This helps a lot. I'm going to gain a knowledge, which will definitely help. As long as I don't get a screw event. Shrieking wind. The wind explore up. each explorer in the garden, patio, tower, or balcony, or a room with an outside facing window must make a might might roll. Uh so how does this work? So uh certain art cards have windows on them. Yep. Uh so Vava, yours is technically outward facing. Even though it's... Oh, right. Because <laughs> it's facing the, to the conservatory. Uh, I am good. 
Yeah, you're fine. Yours doesn't have a window. I'm not in any of those rooms or have a room with windows in general. So, so no Baba, one has to roll anything. Yep. Oh, just Baba. Baba has to make a might roll. Yep. Which is four. You need a five plus. Five. <laughs> oh, yeah. All, All right. right. You're uh, good. You keep your footing. Nothing happens. Aren't you happy, Baba? And you know how my RG can really be sometimes. <laughs> and because I'm here, I get an extra knowledge. I wish I would have. What's it called? But wait, when did my knowledge take? Oh, right. When I took that mental damage, I think. Yeah. yeah. When you took that two die of mental damage. Yep. But yeah, at least it goes up by one. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh. You gonna try again? Try. What's my movement? My speed's four. I don't have a lot of speed. Uh, whoops. Hold on. There we go. Uh, one, two. I'm going to try to cross here again. I fixed that. That went good for you the first time. Yeah. What was it I need? I need a mite. Yeah, I need a mite. So my mite is four. And I need, what is it, three? Cool. Three. Statistically, I need under half. Cool. We're good. All right. Hey, All right. Hang, hang on just a second. I'm going to scoot everything over. You should have did it from the get-go. <laughs> Hold on. Procrastination, the most powerful weapon. For realsies. All right. Give me just a second. Uh, let me just zoom out. There we go. That, I was about to say that was get that was starting to bother me how off center that was. There you go. All right, and I'm pa and I'm just a passing through common rider. Orore, decayed, and he's about he's to start. To get <laughs> I get a plus speed fight end here. Fuck yes. Speed. I am speed. Let's see how bad this is for us. I found the book. Gain two knowledge. No. Cool. I hope you're willing to give me up that book. Probably not. No. I... <laughs> there we go. All right. That's we're up to what? Five omens now. Yep. We Take can survive. <laughs> we can survive, but I doubt it. Uh, That'd be funny if we can keep going, see how high we can get it. Yep, we good. We're fine. <laughs> Bitch, so, listen, man, if you hand me that book, I will gladly give you one of the items out of the thing. I don't know. I think I like my knowledge being at a high six. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Tell you what, you find right. the bell, I'll give it to you. <laughs> All right, Bob's going to start the event. Oh, that's right. I also get a speed from this. I totally forgot. Uh, boom. I'm back up to my starting speed. <laughs> speed! It is meant to be. Collapse to the four. Visions of futures. Events pouring through your head. Choose one of these two options. You can look at the top three tiles of cards of any one stack. If you do, rearrange those three tiles or cards in any order and put them back on top. Do not tell anyone the results. You can choose instead to roll four dice and write down the results. For one future die roll of your choice that you attempt, you can use that number instead of rolling. If that number is higher than the maximum possible result, use the maximum possible result instead. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the first option so both of you can look away. All right. All right. Tell me when you're both. Am I good? Uh, I'm just going to yeah, get blindfold. Good. There we go. It's technically a way to look at the deck, but I haven't perfected how to reorganize anything inside of that while doing that. Right. Mm. Okay, you're good. All right. You're good. All right. You can look now. 
Except for you. You can touch me. <laughs> Except for you. You can <laughs> touch me. Okay. Do I risk opening this next room? Okay. You can try you know and go what? for the uh try and go for the vault. You're not too far away from it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the vault. Let's see what happens. Uh you have to come down here to the math through the master bedroom. There you go. So I gotta make a knowledge roll of uh knowledge six roll. plus six to plus. open the vault. Yep. Alright. Actually my knowledge is pretty good right now. I could if my might was good enough to cross the tower again, I'd try to go do it. Uh you know You gonna roll the idol you gonna do the idol? <laughs> I'm trying to think. You need to add two Let's dice see, to the my, roll. My knowledge is a three. I lose one sanity, but uh Oh, speaking of speaking of sanity, I got I just remember I gotta add one. Oh yeah, because you stopped in the chapel. Yep. Okay, I could. Mm, I could use lucky stone though and reroll any of the failed. Okay. I should note that you, know you have to you have to use the idol before you roll even yeah, once. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so, the choices are yours. <laughs> and yours alone. Yep, so your uh, knowledge you know is what? a three. You would have to get a perfect six to open it without the idol. Yep, but with the lucky stone, I could reroll. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to take the hit. No risk, no reward. Man, my sanity is looking good in comparison. I know, right? Hey, man. No risk, no reward, man. Let's do it. Chances I'm going to get the most, two most useless items ever. I have to reroll a five. All right, Six one zero, four zeros, one all zero. at a time. All right. Let's see a zero. Damn it, Bobo. <laughs> Again. Wait, sorry, that, I know one was a zero. Yep. Okay. That one was a okay. zero when you. <laughs> Come on, can we go for the trifecta? Darn. Okay. All right. So that means I have to at least. All right. Let's see. And you can use the Lucky Stone to re-roll any number of them. All right. I'm going to re-roll them all. All right. Just discard the uh, card. Yep. Zero. <laughs> Calling it now. Two. Okay. That's one. That's four. <sighs> I already said I was going to re-roll them all. That's four. Six. Well, you're good. The other two don't matter. All right. You just want to, hey, you want to do it just, just for the laws? Fine. Man, almost a yeah. perfect fucking roll. <laughs> All right. Let's see what I get. Look, all it costed you was paying to it was playing uh, prank to Satan. Hell, Satan. Oh, nice. Dark dice. Nice. Not bad at all. Smelting. Smelling salts. Not bad at all. Let's see what these are. What salts do. Uh, if your or another living spore's knowledge is below its starting value and you're in the same room, you can raise that trait to its starting value by using the smelling salts. Once per turn, you can roll three dice. Do weird shit. Nice. Uh, hmm. I hope I hope you roll a zero. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh god. <laughs> you know, that's not bad. That's not a bad thing though, but it could go it could go bad. It's got some good highs, but it's got some low <laughs> lows. <laughs> low lows. But luckily though, because my thing is at the lowest, I can always re-roll the idol. I can always the idol. I That's can't true. go below this. That's true. You I could can't. keep rolling that forever now, basically, until the beginning of the haunt, when yeah. it will kill you. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be my... Wait. Oh, wait, I can still move. You can still move, yes. All right. You so how like... much movement do I have left? I used... You mm. were over here in the library, I think. So that's uh, like... One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. 
Alright. So that'd be five. Five. Those rooms don't connect. Oh. Five. Yeah, like I said, it's a real zigzag to get across yep, this yep, area. Yep. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna I need to probably go to the gymnasium actually though. Where is the gymnasium? So that's one back here. Two. Basically you're you're right there at the gymnasium. Oh, oh yeah. You probably have hey, man, no time seven, crossing through the tower. Seven speed, man. Seven speed. Yep. All right. I hate that all the downstairs doors are currently used. All right. All right. Let's see. Where does this magic place take us? Oh, no. We're done. We're done. We're done. There, there's no way. There is no way. He has to roll a perfect six. <laughs> oh, that can this is bad. What's, this is bad. What could possibly go wrong? This is bad. What could we possibly get lucky. go wrong? Oh. Let's see. <laughs> the medallion! You are immune to the effects of the pentagram chamber, crypt, and graveyard. All right. Let's get that perfect six, buddy. Or we're going to start the hunt. Two. We're good. We got seven. All right. Cool. So we're good for now. No pressure for the rest of us. Yeah, go on Bob your, was... you're on your own. You better hope you Bob don't pull gonna... an omen. <laughs> Bob was going to be the one, man. Bob was going to be the one. <laughs> you know the worst thing about this is because the elevator is there? How much well, speed do I have? Bob, Four. He, he literally just has to take the elevator if he wants Three. to go anywhere. I'm going out of the... I, that's my turn. Yep. I'm going out of the basement. I was going to say, uh... Alright, one. So I got to make a roll when I pass the skeletons? Uh, you can. You don't have to. What do I get if I pass? Uh, Let's you can see. draw an item card if you do a sanity roll, but your sanity kind of sucks ass. Yeah, You need okay, a five. There's... Yeah, there's no way I'm going to do that. All right. But you have to Let's roll see. a uh, might three plus to cross the tower. Alright, I'm going to rub on that idol. Of course you are. Rub one out on your idol. And let me see. This is what addiction looks like. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Rub one out on the idol, and I gotta make a might roll of three plus. Yep. Yeah. So just roll your five that you've got there. Yep. Yeah, this is already going on longer than last round. I know, right? It's amazing. Man, guys. we're because we've gotten lucky. That's why. You didn't end your turn in the gymnasium just so you can get that speed? Yep. Well, huh. Or do you want to try that... and explore more? What awaits the time? The ballroom. Mm. The ballroom's not. Uh, we haven't seen the ballroom. I know, I know. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Come on. Join the small girl who has another small girl and a madman with a book, a medallion, <laughs> and she got bit in the leg. So you're going to get. Austin, you have a very nice book there. You can't have my book. Fuck off. I told you, you find the bell, then I'll give you the book. <laughs> oh, crap, I'll take stack. that idol off you for the book. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. All right, let's see what we get. All right. You're oh, gonna yeah. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Whoa. Dog. <sighs> ah, nope. Spirit, spirit board. board. Alright, before you move on to the next turn, you can the top tile of the room stack. If you use a spirit board and hunt after the hunter's revealed, the trader can move any number. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, depending on what the scenario is. Yeah. Well You may have you may need to give me that thing. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, there's seven omens on the field. Yep. Come on, we're good. We gotta see how far we get to this. 
Fuck yeah. Right, let's see. I'll roll one at a time because I don't trust rolling all at once. All right. Here's the first. Looking Zero. good. Wait. I want to no, know. Did the idol? No, you can't. I don't think I can use that for nah, that. Nah, you can't. It's a trait roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not a trait roll. Okay. Oh, my nope. God. <laughs> One more zero and it starts. Okay. You can either roll three twos. Yeah, you need perfect on both on the last. Because on the last I only three. rolled what three dice. Yeah. All right. And that seals it. It started. All right, one more, one more. Let's see. I was gonna say there's seven omens. There's no or no possible way you're getting it at this yep. point. All right, All right. Let's see what it is. Stato. The Hound! Again? Kid Crud is the traitor. Maybe. We'll see. Well, that's what it says. What is this event called? Wall of the Banshee. Oh, goody. All right. Well, same thing, we as, need, same thing as before. Yep. I'm going to walk away. And I guess, kid, just uh, take care of all your prep time in between doing that, too. <laughs> just so we don't do yes. it while we're here. All right. Yes, so. Let me blindfold myself. Ugh. All right, you're good. All right. Mm -mm. The wall of the bench. Well of the banshee. First, you hear a faint sound from just outside the room as if someone was scram scrambling up the walls and scraping long talons across. So a few seconds later, you catch a glimpse of a tattered silver robes swirling across the edge of your vision. You turn to run the to the door just as you hear something enter the room behind you. The creature sighs. The sound creeps across the room and you feel a terrible chill boring into your heart. Death is nigh, but not for you. The spirit board protects you from the from your darling's deadly voice. If you can just be alone with her, you know she will agree to stay with you for eternity. Well guys, look like I'm getting laid. Your explorer is still in the game, but has turned traitor. Put the large circular banshee token in the room for your explorer. Decide which way it is facing. Use the arrow printed on his token. <laughs> the plan is to silence the Banshee and explain all heroes are dead. Cool. The Banshee usually moves across according to its own plan. It always moves as many spaces as it has speed roll. Each time you, you move, you can move the Banshee. Roll two dice to determine how it moved. <laughs> so cool. The Banshee can move to any of the zero. The, put the Banshee in any room up to eight tiles away. It does not pass through any other rooms. This turn. Or the one I choose which room the Banshee moves into first for the rest of the movement. This turn, it always turns left if possible. Okay, with a two, I choose which room the Banshee moves into first for the rest of his movement. It always moves into a straight ahead if possible. The only option is to turn left to right. It's determined randomly which way it goes. With a three, I choose which room the Banshee moves into first for the rest of his movement. This turn, it always turns right. This turn, you control the Banshee's movements. Okay, cool. Then I roll a four. And with, uh, you know, when turning, the Banshee hugs the left or right route. For example, the Banshee must turn left, but if it can't, it will go straight. If it can't go straight, it will turn right, even if it's a dead-end room. Then it will leave the way it entered. The Banshee can't affect or be affected by the movement of others. Like any monster, it can't discover new rooms. If the Banshee enters the upper landing or the collapsed room in the gallery, or the foyer when the stairs of the basement is in play, or rooms with secret stairs, you can pass through the wall switch tokens. You decide whether to move to the corresponding room at East Way. If you move elsewhere, you can decide the Banshee moves to the room. The Banshee cannot use the Mystic Elevator. If the Banshee passes through or stops in the room to explore, each explorer in that room must make a sanity roll. <laughs> you are immune to the Banshee as long as you have the Spirit Board. If you lose the Spirit Board, you can be, a, you can be affected by the Banshee well. All right. Cool. So what that means is we're gonna have some fun with these guys. Yay. Boop doop doop boop boo doo 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 so hopefully I'm gonna get laid. Or die trying. One or the other. Alright. And I'll tell them it's time to start. Okay, officially I've returned from the void. <laughs> me 
a second to come back. Vava, you still there? Yeah. Okay, I didn't hear you. All right, so... What the hell are we dealing with? Walls of the Banshee. First you hear a faint sound from outside the room as if someone were scrambling up the walls or scraping long talons across them. A few seconds later, you catch a glimpse of tattered silver robes swirling across the edge of your vision. You turn to run to the door just as you hear something enter the room behind you. The creature sighs. The sound creeps across the room and you feel a terrible chill pouring into your heart. Death is nigh. Set aside a number of triangular knowledge roll tokens equal to the number of players. Uh, set aside an equal number three of triangle of sanity things. rolls. So, three, yeah. Uh, so, let's see. One, two, three. His jack-off idol is in my way. <laughs> there we go. One. Well, at least he can't have used it anymore. <laughs> two. Yeah, I'd kill him to use it. All right, so we've got three sanity and three knowledge. Plus side, I'm really good at knowledge rolls. All right. I'm good with sanity. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, set aside. Okay. The trader has used the spirit board to summon a baleful banshee. While carrying the spirit board, the trader is immune to the banshee's whale. You successfully perform an exorcism to banish the banshee. You must perform an exorcism before the Banshee kills you all. This requires a number of successful exorcism rolls equal to the number of players. Each roll requires a specific room or item, and each one requires a sanity roll or knowledge roll. Each hero can attempt only one exorcism roll during his or her turn. Attempt a sanity roll of 5+, plus. perform an exorcism while in the chapel, crypt, or pentagram chamber. You're near the chapel, so you can go ahead and take care of that. Or, or, or while carrying the holy symbol or spirit uh, board. I guess what I got. You have the holy symbol? Yeah. Oh, ah, yes. fuck. Fuck yeah. Yeah, go take care of that then. Um, I might see if I can... How far am I from the chapel? You're not too far, I don't think. I can just walk back there and do it. Yeah, go take care of that. We can just wait three turns. He's up on the... on the. I don't know where the Banshee is. Uh, has he put her on the field? Uh, oh, yeah, he's, you. he's in the... The Banshee is in the room with him. So, yeah, you've got a while before... You're going to want to move to... then? Yeah, trust me, I know. The plus... And guess what? You, you could do the large roll you, anytime you want. You got the book. Yeah, I can also get to the library, which is up here, to try and exercise it, too, for knowledge. Oh, we we are, we are so much better off. <laughs> yeah, each time you succeed in exorcism roll, put a sanity roll or knowledge roll token, depending on the trait used, on the item card or the room you used... If any hero successfully uses an item or room as part of an exorcism roll, no hero can use that item or room in an exorcism again. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, wait, so we don't have to use the rooms? You can attempt. Chapel, crypt, or pentagram chamber. The library, the research. One well, library or the research laboratory or while carrying the book. Okay. Okay, I see what it is. So. Okay. So, so the way this works is, um, you can, you can just do the exorcism while holding the holy symbol, then go to the chapel and do it again. Then we'd have to find the crypt or pentagram chamber. Uh, you know what floors those are located usually? Uh... Because we're kind of out of upstairs rooms to work with. Pentagram chamber, I, I mean, think, is the basement. Floor. Although it just says we just need placed a number of these tokens equal to the number of players. It doesn't say we have to have three of one type. So as long, as long as we just get three successes, we're in the clear. That's what it seems like. And I can make one with the book. So even if I get killed by the Banshee, you should, in theory, be able to do your thing. Especially since of how much of the breathing space I have between you guys and that. Yeah. All right. So I guess that's our game plan then. Uh, yeah. The Banshee can't be attacked. I'll go for the. 
Stealing the bill spirit board from the traitor will cause him or her to be affected by the Banshee, but will not grant immunity to the hero who carries the, carries the board. Okay. Interesting. So I'm going to guess she's probably got some kind of, like, bullshit abilities that's going to cause us problems each turn. Probably. All right. So, yeah, I guess game plan is, uh, yeah, I, you can try and do the chapel. Yeah, I'll hit the chapel at first. Yeah. And then you can use the, then you can use the, uh, the holy symbol on my, on my way to the basement and just try to find something from there. Yeah. And if I'm unlucky and don't make my roll, I can try and make it to the library from there. Or because I can use the book pretty much off the bat. And if nothing else, I'll delay him or I'll delay him and the uh, and the Banshee, if nothing else. Yes, boy can move. Yeah. If nothing else, what is his might at? Uh, he's going to No, he can't use the idol. I think my might. Yeah, my might's greater than him. So I could attempt to steal the board from him. So he has to deal with whatever the Banshee does. After I perform my uh, at least make sure you get your you get one of your rolls successful first. Yeah, I'm probably going to do the book first. It's going to be quite a journey to get back to the library to try to pull that off. Especially since I've got to cross through the tower again. <laughs> and uh, he's much faster than I am. Well, at the very least, if you make it past the tower, you are more, he's less likely to make it across there. That's true. I was going to say, that's the only positive side. He can't just keep abusing his idol anymore. The only danger thing is the dark dice. That's true. If he rolls a six. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a problem. I don't think that'll that's happen, though. I'm hoping, let's, let's hope he rolls a zero. Yeah. Here's hoping. All right, well, that's our game plan then. Uh, yeah, I guess. All right. Hit him up and tell him we're ready. All right. He's asking if we're ready. Yep. Made sure to add him this time. Are we ready for it? I don't like your new friend. We t we told you that, that board is not a dating site. <laughs> Look, I put the ad out. Someone answered. Yeah, someone. Or more accurately, something. Look, I'm not picky. Fair enough. If it has a hole, you know, hey. So a hole. so question: Does that end your turn, or does it still keep going? Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, I, it doesn't say outright. Let me look. Uh, let me check the rules too while I'm at it. Uh, special rooms, special rooms. Let me zoom in. I can. Omens. Uh, attacks. Example. Here we go. The haunt. Well, you drew that room. Doesn't usually drawing a room like end the turn? That's true. Uh, if you discovered a room with an omen symbol, you can still draw and keep an omen card. Uh, let's see. When a player makes a haunt roll, starts the haunt. The player looks at the haunt chart. And who is the traitor? The chart lists the haunt. Let's see. Find the corresponding haunt member. This is the haunt you're going to play. <laughs> Let's see. Hunt. The trader takes the trader's tome. The rest. When everyone is ready, oh. the trader returns to the room. The heroes and the trader do anything the haunt tells them to do. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. The first turn always starts with the player to the trader's left and goes clockwise. Unless it says otherwise. Yep. <laughs> so I guess right. who would be to your left then? I guess maybe me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well. Initiate a game plan. Yep. All right. Well. Cool. I guess. Uh, 
I'm going to attempt to make a knowledge roll using, uh, using the book. Oh, I got to kill you first, then. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. How much do we need for it? I think it's a five plus. Whoops. Oh, shit. Fuck. Um, Oof. hold on. Hold on. Oh. I fucked it up. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Yours still would have been good. I. Uh, well, I, I, I didn't mean to hit the dice at all, period. Uh. I accidentally flipped the I accidentally flipped the page in the book. You got a five still. Okay, I'll take I'll take that. Uh, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> hold on. Mm. I I'm trying to I'm trying to change the uh the the passage on the uh hold on I got I got I got a Hold on, I fucked it up. I accident. I think I'm. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm fucking everything up right now. Smile, smile for the audience. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Uh, let's see. What was this haunt called? No, it's number. Well, th well it's, the banshee. Uh, or as it looks like to you, wall of the banshee. Yeah. Yep, well, well of the banshee. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, That'd be haunt number eight. Haunt number eight. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. God. Oh no. You know how you can thank me? Just stand still. Look. Once I'm done reading my book, I just might. Uh, let's see. Free chance of dream. That's haunt thirteen. So let's see. Eight. Yeah. Here we go. Well, the banshee. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I just need a five plus. Okay. One down. Uh, I'll re-roll this one just to be fair to Kid, just because I didn't mean to roll them. And it may change nothing. Yeah. Nope, five. Nope. We're still good. <laughs> yep. All right, so we get one what you, knowledge what token. You get? Third of the way there. And I can steal objects from you guys, though, right? Yes, you can. You have to do two plus damage to a person to steal. Remember, you gotta put it on what you use, what what was used. Oh for that yeah, one. yeah, right, right, right. Uh, put it on the book. There we go. All right. And uh. So can I die from effects? From effects? Yes. Yeah. In theory. Oh, okay. Like from like using the idol. Yes, because now the yes. haunt has begun, so we can die. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let me hold on. I gotta flip that. There we go. All right, and so my speed is kind of not good. So one, two, three, and then I've got to make a might roll to fucking make it past here. Don't worry. I made it past. So it's three, four, five. All <laughs> right. Wow. Regardless of what happens. <laughs> Alright, whose turn? Lava. You go to Lava. Me, then. Your move. And I'm going to use the holy symbol to do a san to do the sanity version of that. And that's oh, you, seven dice. Oh you bastards. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie with you, kid. We uh we got we lucked out very well for the start of this. <laughs> so now the only thing that's gonna matter is who can kill who first. Well, not even that. Oh, that's a four. Nope. Damn. All right. Well, time to start moving to the other... Start to moving to plan B. Yep. I was going to say, don't forget, you still have the... Yeah. I did, But you can I only can, make... Oh, I can do it here, too. You can only make one per turn, though. That's the problem. Well, yep. that's yep. still, like, a, a boost to what I need. Yep. All right. Cool. So right. first, let's do this. <sighs> Gotta come and bash your skull in. That's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, you can certainly try. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Tell me how to zoom in more. 
uh, I have to pop it up. Uh, mouse wheel. Or you can hit M for magnify. Oh, okay, thank you. Are you using your dice? He's looking at something okay. inside of his trader area. Uh. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. I'm going to assume it's some kind of effect by the Banshee. Do 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 well, you're half right. The lady begins to move. Do 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 do. And. Alright, make me a sanity roll. Sanity roll? Yep. It's the Banshee begins to wail. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, it's a good thing you did what you needed to do. Yep. I got a zero. <laughs> okay, you take four dice of mental damage. Four dice of mental damage? Yep. All right. You, you're still in it? Uh, yeah, actually, I could possibly still come out of this. Four. Yep. You just got to tank your knowledge. Four. There we go. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right. And I'm trying to make sure I'm doing this right. So I hate about this one. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baba, I don't okay. expect you to rely on me for that second roll, by the way. That dropped my knowledge down by half. <laughs> at, th at this point, you are just a sacrifice. You're just a, w a willing sacrifice. <laughs> Look. Okay. I'm trying to, okay, I'm trying to see what to be right. What to be right from this. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. I get eight to go downstairs, or yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So that would take you over here to the grand staircase. Okay, because well, it says it's all. Basically, what it says is always goes. It always she, with this roll. It always goes right. So I guess this will be right. Yeah, I okay. guess that would be right. That's why I don't like. I, I like this one. I don't like this one. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know how you talk about. I like this one. <laughs> That's weird. No, no. What I mean is the way the monster moves. Is, is yeah, a, that's a lot weird. more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> so I'm a traitor strike because I'm immune to all these effects. Are you Yay. actually immune to them? I think I am. Am I? Uh, unless it I says remember. otherwise inside of your book, then you Let's should still see. act as a normal player. All right. Oh. I think uh, cool. what you get is you get immunity from the Banshee's effects. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's this. And I will. Mm -hmm. Now what? I'm going to come for you. Bring it. Make your might roll to get across the tower. <laughs> yep. I hope you fail miserably. <laughs> All right, give me a second. So that's this. That's that. All right, let's see what I get. So I just need a, what, three? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that one didn't pick up at all. I hit flipped. <laughs> yeah, it moved. It just didn't pick up at all. That last one didn't pick up at all, but I'll... Yep. Uh, if that's the case, you stop moving. Yep, yep. We have a chance. We have better chances. What you're saying is, we have a chance. Okay, what's my speed again? Uh, my speed is. Well, and I actually can't. Five. Five. Okay. So. One, two, three. And I'm going to attempt to make a knowledge roll inside of the library. Oh, I should have done that. Mm. Said roll the dark dice. I'm kind of glad you forgot. If I'm be honest. Nope. Uh, you need to keep the pressure on me like this. I guess I'll. I guess I'll move forward and see what the hell else is in this room.
I just hate the way this is, what's it called? Oh, good. The collapsed room. Oh, you fall through the floor, huh? Uh, you might Probably. fall through the floor. Uh, let's see. Uh, on a attempt to speed roll, a 5 plus to avoid falling. Uh, what did, what did it say? Speed roll? Yeah, speed roll. Yes. Okay, yep. So, roll 5. But you just I, need five ones. Going to be real with you, I kind of actually want to fall. <laughs> I want to get away. <laughs> get away. Oh, wait, that's hey. not real. There we go. I'm fine. Unfortunate. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you fail, draw a basement tile. You fall there and take one damage. Okay, well, I'm fine. Uh, but I'm out of movement, too. So, all right. Baba, you're up. All right, time to do a, do the sanity roll using the chapel. And that's with eight dice now. I don't like that. Yo, I just hate this one. I hate this. I like the was and count, but I hate this That counts. Yep, put the sanity token inside the uh, chapel. We just need one more. Yep. I assume you guys are going to get it, though. Probably. Just this... It's just Maybe. that, again, the way this, this is just kind of just stupid. Yeah, I just go back and forth between rooms or once I... Uh, you can just uh, you can just stop somewhere if you want. You can just go somewhere and stop. Actually, if you want, yeah. you should take the elevator. Ew. And I have to go up and around to get in there. Yeah. Okay. All right, kid, your move. All right. So first, let's do her because I, I just like I said, I just hate this because it's, it's just yeah, like it doesn't. This seem feels like it's... very non-trader uh, sided at the moment. This feels like it yeah. would be very. It would be better if we weren't all spread out and we didn't have like a giant fucking zigzag for an upper floor. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what makes this like weird. It also all doesn't right. help. Like one hundred percent honest with you. We were very stacked from the beginning. We had pretty much Everything half the needed. shit we needed for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. It also doesn't help that, like, we have to do it for as many players as there are. And since there are low players, it makes it much easier. Okay. Like, yeah, I just, this is just, I, I hate this. <laughs> On the plus side, you might probably kill me. Mm-hmm. So, let's see. Let me see. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I can do this right. Sorry. No, I, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to... Okay, let's see. Okay. I don't... It doesn't. Okay. Basically, says choose which room it moves first. So I don't know if it can just pop up in any room, or I have to. I, again, this is why I hate this one. Yeah. Just because. Very just because vague. Of, I want to. I want to yeah. take a look at the book after this. After this is over, for that. Mm -hmm. This will probably be my last game then, because. Yeah. That's oh, it, yeah, it's fine. This is gonna. This is probably over with anyway, because I. I don't know how to go about this uh okay room starts in first so let's see and it's okay you can change the direction so something is always right so depending on the direction she's facing i'm gonna make her go right so this would be right all right so mm. man you are really out for blood it it uh, I don't know how to make her move down. It's weird, man. It's it's a weird thing. Yeah. All right. It, it seems make that a way. sanity. Yeah. Make, make, make a sanity, sanity roll. roll. All right. Probably not going to survive this one. Not you unless did, uh, you... not unless a plus. Oh, whoops. Oh, I got the same thing, anyways. One. I'm gonna guess that doesn't beat it. Four diamental damage. No, no, I'm sorry, not four. Let me make sure. Let me make sure, cause. God, I... I said this would be cool if she can like pop up anywhere. Yeah. yeah. No, four diamental damage. All right. My only hope here is that I roll zeros or one. Otherwise, I'm dead. 
Two. Just barely enough. And with that, I die. I will do what I can. All right, I'm gonna pick what I can't until I get out the room. I can't do anything. All right, let's see if I can get out the room. <laughs> mm, let's see if I can get out the room. All right, uh, what's that? Three might roll, so... Come on, use your idol. What's the worst that could happen? It'd be great if I was immune from that effect. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, not the case. Two, you got a which two. is not enough to get out. Nope. But you know what? Uh, I'm going to use my dark die. What I got to lose, except for death. All right. Roll three dice. All right. Four. Four. Gain one physical trait. Okay, I'm going to add that to might. It ain't going to help me any. The Banshee keeps moving right, so... Oops. I was going to say, those rooms aren't connected unless she passes through walls. Oh, right. She can't open another thing, though, so... I guess she'd have, guess have she... to go backwards? Yeah. And then, right. It's a rule for the upper land. It's, it's, I, I don't know. Let's I... say she goes downstairs. That's fine. I think that's all right. Oh, Vava. She does have enough movement. Sanity, right? Sanity, yep. How good's your sanity? Eight. Wow. God damn. Four. Wow, that's four it. Four to make her sore. Let's see what happens. That's it? You rolled eight dice and you got fucking four? Cool, you take two die of mental damage. That's at least not too bad. You can at least tank your knowledge to survive that. I got, yep, I dropped my knowledge down by two. Alright, and let me bump my might up, and then I'll end my turn. Bob is going to get it, though. Here's hoping. He's only got one turn to do this. I don't think he can take another one of those. Alright, and I guess that... Sorry, I didn't mean to move Baba. Hey, bad touch. There we go. Alright. Wait a minute. Well, yeah, I think that was eight, right? That was eight, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I mean, you guys could be lying to me. I wouldn't know anyway, but still. Right, I'm pretty sure it was, because she moved, like, all around the all around the upper thing and then came downstairs. Yep. Alright, well, I'm dead. Alright. Well, I was gonna survive. With Let's the symbol. Survive. Seven. All we right. did it. And that's it. With uh with uh three exorcism tokens, we banish the uh we banish the banshee. Alright. Do we read the thing now? Uh let's yeah, see. When the heroes have placed a number of these tokens equal to the number of players, the banshee is vanquished. The shrieking goes closer and closer, then the walls begin to shake. When you glance into a nearby mirror, you can see your hair turning white. The screeching is coming from the outside the door. The doorknob, the doorknob turns as you cry out the last words of the exorcism. Then, silence. Man. All right. That one actually went on we, for quite some time. And we lucked out. We really did. I don't think you could have survived another uh, roll with her, so... Kid, can you drag out your book? What are what are the rules for this? Uh, yeah, like I said, this is the weird thing. Like, if I was right, maybe she could have moved or stayed in the room with Fava. I don't know. Here, I'll drag it out. Yeah. Uh, like, let's see. Okay. Look at that. What does this say? The Banshee, speed eight. The Banshee usually moves according to its own plan. It always moves as many spaces as its speed roll. Each time you can move the Banshee, roll two dice to determine how it moves. Uh, let's see. Choose which room the Banshee moves into first. For the rest of its movement, this turn, it always turns left if possible. When turning, the Banshee hugs the left or right wall. For example, it must turn left but can't. It will go straight. If it can't go straight, it will turn right. And if it's in a dead-in room, then it will leave the way it entered. The Banshee can't affect or be affected by the movement of others. 
Like any monster, it can't discover new runes. Okay, that sounds really confusing. Yeah. Yeah, I it, can and... I can definitely see why that would be a pain to understand. So it basically just sounds like it it hugs the right wall, but that also sounds like. It... Well, that's determined with the dice roll, though. So you yeah, know, it, it, it's it definitely <laughs> seems like in how we built the upper floor. We basically built, like, an entrapment that just keeps that thing in a fucking loop. <laughs> yeah. So We extremely lucked out. That's half the end, game sometimes. And then if the Banshee enters the upper landing, collapse room or the gallery, uh, or room... Oh, yeah, you can decide. Okay. So I could have sent her down there to Vava the first time. Yeah. yeah again, it, this is why, this is, like... It's cool, but it's also just like yeah. Why? There's a lot to it. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. We got one victory on our belt. You got one victory. I died both games. <laughs> <sighs> That's all that matters. You died. I'm and not both salty. Both times I was the last one. <laughs> if I, but listen though, if I would have known that I could have sent her down there to you, I would have done that. Yeah. I think he would have still, he would have done pretty all right, though, just because his sanity was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> That's because of the chapel and the holy symbol, <laughs> and then the chapel okay, again. Okay, so with the holy symbol, mm -hmm. you could do it anywhere. Yeah. So here's how, here's like how it book. works. Here's how mm -hmm. it works. So we, we had specific places we had to do them in. The library, the pentagram room, uh, the chapel or with the book, or with the medallion. We could do them anywhere, but we could only do it once in those specific locations or on those items. Mm -hmm. So we had to move and do other stuff, but we figured our items are going to be the closest and easiest. We can just do it whatever. It just happened Vava was really fucking close to the library. <laughs> oh, so you can only do it once or in that he was, particular space. Yes. So the, if the you game... succeed there, that's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and since we only needed three points, both of us had an item we could use. It was just a matter of, can I get to the library, or can he do it in the chapel to try and succeed? Okay, and it didn't matter what you guys did, because you both had the items, you guys could split up and gather more exorcism tokens that way. Pretty much, yeah. Yep. The only problem was, um, outside of the library and the chapel, we had none of the other rooms discovered. So that was only you guys only had two rooms then. Yeah, but we each had an item. The book and the holy symbol. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So you can succeed with that one particular roll in that one particular room. and then Yeah, so it was like, where is it? You can attempt a sanity roll to perform an exorcism while in the chapel, the crypt, mm -hmm. or the pentagram chamber, or while carrying the holy symbol or spirit board. I could have stolen your thing. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can attempt a knowledge roll to perform an exorcism while in the library or research uh, laboratory or while carrying the book or crystal ball. Each time you succeed in exorcism, put a sanity or knowledge token, depending on the trait, uh, on the item room or in the room you used it. If any hero successfully uses an item or room as part of an exorcism role, no hero can use that item or room in an exorcism again. Oh, so wait a minute. So you guys had all three rooms, but you don't have two rooms. We only had two rooms. We had the library and the chapel open. That, I think that means this kept going. It doesn't matter now, but I think that kept going until you guys found the third room. Yeah, but we had the it, items to use. We had the uh, we had the holy symbol and the uh, <laughs> chapel. Because it doesn't specify in here that we needed three of one specific type. It just stated we needed three exorcisms. But it also said that uh, you can only do that type of role in there once, I think, right? We can only do role. successful. We can only succeed an exorcism okay. role once. If any hero successfully uses an oh, item or room. Yes. He failed. Yes. He failed. He yes. failed. Okay. Yeah, he okay. failed the medallion. Okay. Yeah, we couldn't just st uh, continuously keep using them. We also could only do one exorcism per per turn, which was another problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But yeah, that that's just like busted cuz like I, I like this one and then I don't like it because yeah. it's just a lot. Yeah, the 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 banshee how she moves seems like a real pain in the ass. Look on the bright side though, <laughs> it could have been worse. I had a game once that I played with my ex and her uh, and our friends and also like mm -hmm. her stepbrother. Our step mm -hmm. uh, her stepbrother turned out to like he he woke an ancient vampire and both him and the girl that was with him turned out mm -hmm. to be vampires. 
And it's like, vampires can't be killed. They are only, like, stunned for a moment. Unless you have the holy symbol or the spear. Mm -hmm. And I had both. (laughs) And I was three rooms away from the vampire was, and you needed the spear to stake him in the heart to kill him. So I soloed the entire adventure by myself because it was based on my speed and I was playing Flash. So I killed them all in two turns. I can only imagine the salt. Let me just say, I was I was busting out fucking Vampire Killer and Bloody Tears while I was doing that. So listen, if I could have got out of that freaking room, I was going to beat you to death. Oh, take I'm your, sure. Uh, take your book. Yeah. Power up and go after Vava. So what What happened if you got the book? Uh, I get a plus two to all my stats. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I'm glad things worked out as it did. Indeed. Oh, yeah. I was going to I was gonna come and I was finna. <laughs> I was finna. Fuck you, Vava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I should have rolled the dark dice again on my turn. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad you forgot the first time because that would have been the only. <laughs> we were worried that was the only thing that would give you an advantage to fucking kill us. <laughs> oh, man. But I wish the traitor was. I wish the traitor was immune to those item effects. Yeah, if it's. I was. I would have. I would have murdered you. I would just idle, idle, idle. Yeah, idle. but that would have been that would have been too easy. That's why I was like, I even told Mama, it's like the only thing we could take sauce in. He can't use the idol unless he wants to kill himself. <laughs> Speaking of which, had you died, would it have ended the banshee, or would she still have no, kept going? No, oh, she okay. would have still kept going. All right. There was a thing where we could steal your spirit board, and apparently it would make it would make you vulnerable yeah. to her abilities. Yeah. It's still stupid though. According to this, it wouldn't make us even vulnerable to them. No, because I was the one who summoned her, or she was the one who chose me. (laughs) Yeah, that was a good game. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta. Hasta.